friends, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be giving you a curriculum recap for the school year 2024. Yes, you hear that right? I only mentioned one year, which is 2024. So this school year, we started something new. We kind of do something new each year just to try something out which one we like better or which one works better for us so this year we start a new school year in january last month so our target end date is sometime in october this is a new school year for us we are one month in i know i've been sharing videos on what we are using but this video you will see everything that we use for the whole school year so this is our fourth year of homeschooling and also our fourth year of using Logos Press. I have an almost nine-year-old and a seven-year-old. My eldest is doing fourth grade level and my youngest is doing third grade. In the past three years, we bought everything from Logos Press. But this year, I learned something new that you don't have to buy from only one source. We still use the Lagos Press Guide, but I've been buying stuff from different places when I see like it's cheaper from the other publisher or store. Like this year, I bought my fourth graders literature books from Christian Book. I also learned that you can buy used books from Amazon. There is an option there. But anyways, that's going to be in a separate video sometime soon. Without further ado, let's get started. This is the lesson plan for grade 4. And this is the lesson plan for grade 3. So I don't do a lot of planning. The only thing that I plan is how to combine the group subjects but again that's gonna be in another video logos press doesn't offer cursive or penmanship to fourth graders so we grabbed this for our fourth grader this is from veritas press we actually got this from the homeschool gathering place and this is the logos press cursive for third graders and for math, we use Math Mammoth. So this is for my third grader, 3A. There are two books for third graders, 3A and 3B. And then for my fourth grader, he is doing 4A. This is the first book. There are two workbooks for fourth grader. Actually, each grade level has two workbooks and i have another math curriculum which is life of fred I only do this every friday and my son name it fred friday so every friday we do this this is more of a just for fun for us we do get uh, math concepts from here i have a lot of videos for life of fred i will link everything down below in the description box for spelling again we use the grammar of spelling from logos press this is level three and this one is level four for grammar and composition we use shirley english this school year we are using shirley english level three this is the teacher's manual and these are the students workbook so everything is here from the jingles reference test section practice section everything is here for the student we love shirley english it offers vocabulary grammar writing composition spelling is not included in shirley english that's why we have a separate spelling curriculum but some people they don't do a formal spelling curriculum they will just make up their own spelling words and go from there but not us for science we use noel science and this school year we are doing biology too 
this is the experiment guide and this is the teacher's manual so far we are enjoying it we get to see stuff through the microscope and my children are really enjoying it so far history we are using the mystery of history volume one creation to the resurrection this is the only program that is new to us we love this i think this is our favorite group subject so far so far yes it might change and foreign language you might be surprised especially if you've been here because i made a video of our foreign language before i made a video before that if we should keep or ditch this program because it was giving us tears and we decided to keep it we are doing latin this is from logos press storybook latin fables year one so the story about this is we finished the school year 2022-2023 sometime in November of last year. We were two lessons away to being finished. I was planning to not really finish it. My husband said to not do it anymore. And then here comes our new school year. And then I was like, I really want to finish it because we are almost done. And then I am curious, what if we will just finish it and take it so slow, like maybe do a 20 minute lesson when it's time to do it. So I decided, okay, we will do it. So we are still doing it. I did not ditch it. We did not ditch it. We are finishing this one. And that's the beauty of homeschooling. You don't have to finish everything for, for that school year. You can pick up where you left off. There will be links in the description box down below for our literature books. There will be a third grade level literature books and fourth grade level literature books. I think that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. Bye. For grammar and confusion. What?